Hikiko-san is an interesting yokai, or a Japanese spiritual being. For you see, Hikiko-san was once a normal little girl. She had dreams and desires like everyone else, but unfortunately, she never grew up to realize a single one of them. Her parents, who were in debt with the Yakuza, would take out their frustration on poor, defenseless little Hikiko-san. This caused her to become very reserved, and in turn, caused the students at the school to make fun of her. She would come to school each day and become bullied, and then go home to be beaten by her parents. One day, the kids at the school decided to play a prank on her, and lock her inside the school after hours. Sadly, when they arrived the next day to release her, they only found her corpse. She was so mistreated at home that she rarely ate, and could not afford the school lunches. So, she died of starvation inside the school. The kids, of course, denied it all, saying that she must have been locked in school by accident. However, this is not the end of Hi Hikiko-san's story. After a few months had passed, Hikiko-san was buried, and the kids that locked her inside the school went on with their lives. However, they began to notice something weird. They had the feeling of someone following them around, and they would sometimes even hear very heavy footsteps followed by light moans. This went on for weeks, and the kids became increasingly terrified, until one day, while they were all walking home from school, they saw a familiar figure on the other side of some rail tr railroad tracks. It was Hikiko-san, but she was different, of course. She was covered from head to foot in dirt, and her hair was all messed up. She was dressed in the school clothing that she was wearing when they locked her inside the school. She looked at the girls and raised an unearthly pale hand towards them, and began to walk towards them. At that moment, a train came rushing by, separating the girls from Hikiko-san, and by the time it passed, she was gone. Terrified, they all ran home, wanting to find safety. However, each night, each of the girls would see the pale face of Hikiko-san pressed against their bedroom windows. She would stare at them and began banging on the glass, trying to get in. This went on for one week, and each girl became, became more and more terrified every night. Until one day, none of the girls arrived to school. They were eventually found, curled into a small ball in their rooms. They looked as if they looked as if they had not eaten months, and were covered in bruises, as if they were beaten. The exact same condition as poor Hikiko-san. Some still say that even that whenever a person is bullied. Hikiko-san's spirit may arise from the grave and seek vengeance for the poor victim, forcing the bullies to feel the pain that Hikiko-san felt moments before her death. With this story told, blow out the eighth candle, and if you had wronged someone in the past, maybe you can hear a banging noise coming from your bedroom window.